What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be installing the wings. Let's get to it. And as you can see guys, I got my tools set up, ready to go. Got my wings here. Super excited about these. Super heavy duty look. They look great, man. Check that out guys. Wow. Love them. Heavy duty, man. Okay, we got a couple brackets here. All right. That's about everything we're gonna need here today and I will be using the Dremel. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so we will need to remove the front grill here and you wanna do that by removing these two uh, screws here and then you wanna remove the tabs here on both sides. Already got the tabs out, let's get these out. All right, guys, next we wanna remove this whole front area on both sides. And we wanna start by removing any clips or any of the bolts here. I got a 10 millimeter socket here. We're gonna get rid of that right now. Got those off. You also wanna get the ones on the bottom here, which will be this one right here and that one as well, guys. Let's get rid of that. All right, guys, next, you're gonna have to stick your hand in here in order to pop out the uh, fender here, flare just like that okay all right guys as you can see i got that top one here there is one down here at the bottom some of you may have one up here i don't for whatever reason but there you go we're gonna do the same process on this side so let me just beat that all right guys there's that side as well all right boom boom and the one down here let's move on next guys we want to remove all these little tabs here you got one two three four five and then you got a six one here. I don't, I lost it. Let's get those removed. And then we also wanna remove anything else you might have on this, okay? So let's do that. Guys, now that we got all that removed, you're gonna come to the side and there are some tabs. You're gonna have to uh, remove here. You're gonna have to, I don't know if you can see it, but you see that little, see that little red thing right there. You kinda have to pull this outwardly. Oh. There it is, you heard the, it came out, there you go. Oh, there it is. All right, let's do that to the other side as well. All right guys, so if you do have some fog lights like I do, Baja Design, go ahead and unplug them now on both sides. All right guys, so before I installed the wings, I did decide to go ahead and put on the little light bar brackets that they provide. That way I don't lose any of this stuff here. So I did that to both of them. Let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, next we do want to install these brackets by removing these three bolts here. One, two, three. Okay, and then this will go right at the front there. And then we'll use the same factory bolts uh, to tighten this up. Okay, so let's do it. All right, guys, there we are. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this right in here and set it up just like that. And once again, use the same factory bolts. All right, guys, I got it nice and loose, not too tight yet. And we're gonna go ahead and set up the other piece, which is the front, you know, wing. And then we'll go ahead and adjust it and then tighten it. All right, guys, so before we do anything else, Body Armor does provide with the little plastic gasket thingies. So let's install that first on the wing. Let's get that going. Then we're gonna go ahead and just cut this piece off, okay? All right, guys, so I wanna show you exactly how this goes per instructions. Um, you wanna take this piece here, you wanna pop it through here. Let me remove the bracket here. So you wanna make sure this goes through here, then add your plastic piece. You can see that. Okay, right onto the back, like so. Sorry, my son's here. so you guys can see what we want to make sure we're doing here. Okay, you want to add that plastic piece there. So you got the plastic piece here, 
then obviously you'll you'll have your bracket here. Okay, and that's what that plastic piece is for, so it's not rubbing, right? Then you've got your give me puppy, give me. washer there your little washer that's what I call it and then you got your nut right right in there Boom. and that's how that should be for all three holes okay make sure you use that little plastic in between then you start mounting everything else on and to tighten these up guys you will need a 5 8 okay Once again here's the back two plastic pieces there or three plastic pieces gonna go ahead and adjust it we got the big washer in we're gonna put the little one now okay then we got the nut right all right guys so once you got it you know there it's still wiggly you want to start to uh, line it up as best as you can, uh, as tight as you can, onto your bumper. So we're going to do that right now, okay? There it is, guys. Got everything tightened up, aligned, sturdy. Let's move on to the other side. It's coming along. It's coming along. What you guys think? So here we go with the other side, same thing. Guys, we finally got both sides on. It's coming together. And it's looking fantastic, honestly. It already looks beastly and it's not even done yet. Looks nice, man. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're gonna start doing some cutting now. So we wanna tape up this area here and all the way around. So let's get that, we got it all taped up. Let's go ahead and take some measurements. All right, guys, so per instructions, we want to do about one fourth of an inch here on this side. Okay, so we'll measure that out. And then we want to do uh, three eighths to about uh, one half on the other side. And I'll show you how to do that because you got to measure it according to uh, that little hole right there. Okay, so I'll show you in a little bit. got the cuts for the bumper already I also went ahead and did the uh, cut in here got rid of that and that way nothing's in the way so we're moving forward next we're gonna cut this but we're gonna wait but look at what we got so far let's go check the other side there you go same thing cut that it's not in the way perfect all right, guys, we put the bottom seal on here. Okay, that took a while. Cuts are already made. We're gonna pop the bumper back in its place to see what else we need to cut. And then we need to go ahead and plug in our fog lights, uh, Baja Design lights here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so I'm at the point where I need to make my cut for my fender here. Uh, so I have lined it up, ready to go. And let's go ahead and get cutting. Guys, it has been a mission, but we got it done. We'll add some adhesive uh, tape on the fender here. Either way, I'm gonna get rid of these um, because that, you know, it had, had a little clip that was supposed to go there and we cut that off. But I uh, will add adhesive or I might just drill a hole right here and just take it, stick it right there and call it a day. Yeah, I might just do that. I'll use this same guy here, boom. 
But other than that, guys, check it out. Cuts came out great. Look at, look at this side, guys. Clean. I even added the little rubber thing on the fender. Kind of like that. I even took it back, back here. What do you guys think? I think it's nice, man. All right, let's finish her up. There it is, guys. It literally took all day. Mostly because the cutting, but it looks beauty, 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 beautiful. I do gotta clean up my job, but guys, it looks great. Definitely have more clearance on my tires. Ready for even bigger tires. I already got 285s, 70s, R17s on here. We can go bigger now. Wow. You make me